The president leaves a visit to four countries. What are the missions that Jokowi brings to Ukraine and Russia? Jakarta President Joko Widodo, Jokowi, made a working visit to four countries, namely Germany, Ukraine, Russia, and the United Arab Emirates. Jokowi and his entourage took off from Soekarno Hatta International Airport, Tangerang, Banten, using a Garuda Indonesia aircraft, GIA-1, Sunday, June 26, 2022, at around 10.36 WIB. President Jokowi and his entourage first headed to Germany to attend the G7 summit. The president and his entourage will fly to Munich for approximately 13.5 hours and are expected to arrive at Munich International Airport at 19.00 local time, WS. After Germany, the president will go to Kiev, Ukraine to meet President Volodymyr Zelensky. The president said the mission of his visit to Ukraine was to invite Zelensky to open a space for dialogue to build peace regarding the conflict with Russia. Because the war must be stopped and those related to the food supply chain must be reactivated, said the president at Sukarno Hatta Airport, Tangerang, Banten. After leaving Ukraine, the president will head to Moscow, Russia to meet with Vladimir Putin. President Jokowi brought the same mission when he met with Putin, namely to open a space for peace dialogue. To carry out a ceasefire and stop the war, Jokowi said. Also accompanying President Jokowi and Mrs. Iriana on the flight to Munich, Germany, were Cabinet Secretary Pramono Anung, Head of the Presidential Secretariat Harubudi Hartono, Military Secretary to the President of the Marsta TNIM Tani Harjono, then the Director General of Protocol and Consular Affairs of the Ministry of Foreign Affairs slash Head of State Protocol Andy Rachmianto, Commander of Paspampers Major General TNI Tributi Udomo, Coordinator of Presidential Special Staff Ari Gwipayana, and Deputy for Protocol, Press and Media of the Presidential Secretariat Baymak Newton. Meanwhile, Foreign Minister Retno Marsudi was in Germany to prepare for President Joko Widodo's visit. 